Hello everyone and welcome back to Core Monsters, this time from Fargo, North Dakota for an 8 truck show. Our field features Kinsley Park in Ash Fire Extinguishers, Mark Moody debuting the brand new Before It Breaks car parts, Todd Yates in Doggone Crazy, Henry Gibbons in Flying High, Zach Preston making his debut in the return of Rat Trap 1. Reigning freestyle champion Opal Baxter in Reckless Red, Keith Johnson in Sinful Addiction, and Jack Schroeder in Try Me. And now we move into the first round of racing in this competition. Up first, we have Flying High versus Before It Breaks Car Parts. Both trucks staged, and away they go. Good start for both trucks. Tighter turn from flying high, but B4 with the run out of the turn, into the final turn here. Flying high with the better turn, and flying high will be moving on to the second round to face the winner of our next race. Next up, we have Jack Schroeder and Try Me versus Opal Baxter and Reckless Red. Pretty even off the line. Try me with a wider line than Reckless Red. Reckless Red real tight in the final turn. Try me going wide. And Opal Baxter and Reckless Red will be moving on into the second round. Next up, we have Keith Johnson and Sinful Addiction versus Zach Preston making his debut in the oldest truck in the field, Rat Trap 1, with a huge wheelie off the lead. This track, of course, campaigned as Cottonmouth the last few seasons, and is just as fast as ever, even with a rookie behind the wheel. As he blows into the second round with a massive win over Keith Johnson and Sinful Addiction. Last up, we have Kinsley Parks in Ash Fire Extinguishers, going against Todd Yates in Doggone Crazy. Pretty even off the line. Doggone crazy a little tighter. Still even at the halfway point. Doggone crazy with a much better turn. And Todd Yates and Doggone Crazy will be moving on into the second round of racing. And now for round two of racing here in Fargo. Our first matchup will see Opal Baxter and Reckless Red taking on Henry Gibbons in Flying High. Good lead from Opal, but Henry Gibbons has the lead right now. Oh, and Henry misses at the ramp. That's going to be a three-second penalty for Henry Gibbons and flying high. And it's going to cost him. Opal Baxter and Reckless Red moves on into the finals after a penalty on flying high. Now to see who goes against Opal. We have Zach Preston in Rat Trap going against Todd Yates in Doggone Crazy with another great lead from Zach in Rat Trap. That might be the best race truck on the circuit right now. And Zach Preston is going to take the easy win over Todd Yates in Doggone Crazy to move on to the finals to go against Opal Baxter in Reckless Red. And now for those finals, the rookie, Zach Preston and Rat Trap, versus the reigning freestyle champion, Opal Baxter and Reckless Red, great leaves from both of them, Rat Trap keeps it low and is a mile ahead immediately. Opal's really going to have to do a lot here, but she's not going to, Zach Preston and Rat Trap in his first event, picks up the racing win here in Fargo, North Dakota. And now we move on to freestyle with Henry Gibbons and Flying High leading us off, followed by Kinsley Parks in Ash Fire Extinguishers, Keith Johnson in Sinful Addiction, Todd Yates in Doggone Crazy, Zach Preston in Rat Trap, Mark Moody in Before It Breaks Car Parts, Jack Schroeder in Try Me, 
And rounding out the field, we'll have the reigning freestyle champion, Opal Baxter in Reckless Red. Starting us off here, we have Henry Gibbons in Flying High. Starting off with a decent little sky wheelie. Now, as you'll notice on the bottom left, these freestyle runs are only a minute long due to the smaller floor here in Fargo. There's another decent sky wheelie there from Henry in Flying High. Kind of searching around for a little bit. There's only three obstacles, so there's not a lot to hit. As Henry gets a good little jump off the yellow lane there. And another good hit off the red lane. Looks like he's going to go for some donuts. I don't know how that's going to go. Over is how it's going to go. Only a 16 for Henry Gibbons in Flying High. Next up, we have Kinsley Parks and Ash Fire Extinguishers. As she goes straight for the red lane with a great sky wheelie over it. Although it looks like her front sway bar may have inverted, and indeed it has. That may cause some issues later in the run for her. Now she's going back side of the yellow lane with a great sky wheelie. She keeps getting these good hits off as she's the first one to go over the van stack and she did great going over it, but her momentum is certainly lacking in between these hits. With another good hit on the red lane. Looks like she's going back for the van stack. No. She's going to backside the red lane with a monster of a sky wheelie. Now, time is up. Anything else is purely for the fans. And she goes off the backside of the yellow lane again. Looks like she's going for the van stack again this time. With some great air off of it. She's going to get a 21 from the judges. Surely that lack of momentum cost her some points there. And now we have Sinful Addiction driven by Keith Johnson. As he also starts with the yellow lane. This floor is pretty tacky from what the drivers have told us. And from what we've seen so far... As Keith just moved the entire red stack trying to backside it. It'll be interesting to see if that affects anything going forward. As he now takes the van stack going the other direction. And is there a problem with the truck? No, he's backing up. Is he going to hit the race lane full speed? Yes, he is. With some great air off of it. Considering it's just a race lane. And now some more great air off the red lane, even though that's just a car in that direction. What's he looking for now? Back to the van stack in the middle. With a great little slap wheelie. He's going to end it there with a 26 from the judges. So that will be your new lead run. And now we have Todd Yates and Doggone Crazy up next. Todd starting off with a little salute to the fans as he hits the yellow lane, but from the normal racing direction, unlike everyone else. And now straight to the red lane with a great sky wheelie. I think he wanted a slap wheelie out of it as well, but didn't get it. Nice little hit over the van stack and does get the slap wheelie off of that. Back over to the red lane. With another good jump over it. Didn't even try for a slap wheelie off of that. Looks like he's going for donuts here. And he's almost going to go over. So two trucks have tried donuts so far and neither one has got them. 
but a great jump over the red lane there from Todd. Now another great hit off the backside of the yellow lane. Time's up, scores should be in, as a monster hit over the van stack. The judges shouldn't be scoring that, but we all know how the judges are with a huge hit off the red lane. Todd saving his best stuff for after the clock, and indeed, that's going to cost him 23 points. Will not give him the lead. And now we have our racing winner, Zach Preston in Rat Trap. His first ever freestyle run here on Core Monsters in a very decorated chassis. So he gets a decent little hit off the backside of the red lane. This of course being the original Rat Trap 1 chassis built in 1990. So it is one of the oldest trucks we have doing what it does best, which is great wheelies, whether they're slap wheelies or power wheelies. As another great slap wheelie from Zach there. Huge sky wheelie off the red lane. This truck being driven by Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth her last few seasons. Known for doing this exact thing. Massive power wheelies across the track. This is a great run so far from Zach for his first show. Time expired already with a great hit off the van stack there. And now, is he going to go for donuts as well? Yes, he is. And unlike the other two, he's going to get them. Unfortunately, these are after the clock, so they don't count towards the score. And indeed, only a 25. So not enough to take the lead from Keith Johnson in Sinful Addiction. Now we have Mark Moody debuting the brand new Before It Breaks car parts with a great sky wheelie into a slap wheelie to start off his run. Going right to the van stack as we have a camper out on the yellow lane now. Who's going to hit that first, I wonder? And now back to the other side of the van stack for Mark. Now we go to the back side of the red lane with a great sky wheelie off of it. Kind of searching around a little bit. Oh, looks like he's lining up. Maybe. Only a few seconds left. Mark Moody going for it. Through the top of the camper with a great launch off the yellow lane. Time's up now. Cross the red lane over the van stack again with a great leap. And now he's going to go for donuts as well. Not off to a great start with them. Touches the concrete and over the new truck goes. 26 points for Mark Moody. Judges really liked that run. And now for our penultimate run, we have Jack Schroeder in Try Me. Starting off with a bang with a big hit off the red lane. And another big hit off the van stack. That van stack's getting pretty deteriorated at this point. And more great air off the red lane. So far, this has been a big air assault from Jack. And now he's going back to the back side of the red lane for even more great air. Looks like he's lining up for the back of the yellow lane now through the camper. Ten seconds left. What's he going to do? Big air off the van stack, corkscrews in the air, a 
officials are saying that's done. Jack Schroeder with a 30 from the judges. And with only one truck left, Jack Schroeder is taking home a freestyle trophy. It's just a matter of if he's sharing it with this woman right here. Opal Baxter, reigning freestyle champion in Reckless Red, already starting off with a camper hit. Backs it up with great air off the red lane. If there's anything we know about Opal, she does not care about that truck and she will junk it to win this trophy. With a huge air off the yellow lane, everyone else has been backing up to get that kind of air. She just hit it. And now on the back side of the van stack, air equal to Jack's, but without dying. And once again, more great air off the back side of the red lane. I'm not a judge, but so far this is looking like it should tie. And now she goes back to the van stack. She gets crossed up as well, stuffs the front end, and the truck comes down settled. And she's still going. With a time up, scores should be in. Back to the red lane. Awkward hit, up and over goes Opal. And indeed, she is bringing home the trophy along with Jack. We have two winners here in Fargo. With Reckless Red and Opal Baxter and Jack Schroeder and Try Me, both with a perfect 30. Mark Moody and B4 Breaks Car Parts and Keith Johnson and Sinful Addiction, both with a 26. Zach Preston and Rat Trap with a 25. Todd Yates and Doggone Crazy with a 23. Kinsley Parks and Ash Fire Extinguishers with a 21, and Henry Gibbons and Flying High with a 16 to round us out here in Fargo, North Dakota. We'll see you next week in Indianapolis.